Good evening and welcome to Night Prep on this Monday the 13th of June 2022. It's lovely that you've joined us on this glorious summer's evening here in Canterbury. So as we gather together, the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, <clears throat> who made heaven and earth. We say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We say together our night hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm for this evening is Psalm 4. In peace I will lie down and sleep. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace, I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. Give us today, O God, a glad heart and a clear conscience, that when we come to this day's end, we may rest in peace with Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading from Scripture tonight is from Isaiah, and it's chapter 30, and it's verse 15. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved, in quietness and in trust shall be your strength. Now for our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into my hands, O Lord. I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for the Nunc Dimittis, our gospel canticle. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. I mean, God, as we come towards the end of this day, we give thanks for all that has been, for the people we've perhaps bumped into in the high street, had conversations, 
waved at across the road, remaining ever mindful of those who just see people passing across their front window. For those who perhaps haven't had that opportunity to chat with others today. Whatever this day has been, we thank you for your blessings upon us. Remaining mindful of those here and around the world who live in a state of anxiety and fear. Particularly those this night in Ukraine. For those separated from loved ones. We pray this night for those who are sitting beside at a bedside. Perhaps in a hospital, our local hospice or a care home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those struggling in body, mind or spirit. For those who have perhaps received a diagnosis today or treatment. For those struggling with their physical health, their mental health. We pray for those who will be working this night, our emergency services those on the night shift in our hospitals and care homes, those working in our supermarkets and factories. Pray particularly at this time of year for our farmers, those gathering the harvest. For our night economy, the Marlow, our nightclubs, pubs and restaurants. A moment of quiet, we... Offer to you, Lord, those who have asked us for prayer for today and for those known only to you. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for tonight. Be present, O merciful God and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together wherever we are the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining us on such a beautiful evening here in Canterbury. It's good to worship together. Please do join us if you can for morning prayer at nine. And we'll be back again for night prayer at six. So wherever you are, good night and God bless. Bye for now. Bye.